This is Twit. Since I know many of our listeners have been waiting for it, I want to start off by noting that GRC's latest freeware utility that, Leo, you had a hand in in incubating I, I, when you were wow. horrified with the news <laughs> of fraudulent drives. Yeah. Uh, it's it exists about f- somewhere around fourteen thousand copies have been downloaded about four thousand a day at the moment. I, I I put it online on Friday evening, um, and in the show notes, I these are actually the twelve d- USB drives I purchased from Amazon. Every single one of them is fraudulent. They're brand what? new. Just purchased oh. in on on the Valid Drive page. I provide the twelve URLs to Amazon to these drives on Amazon for just for people to see for themselves. I but mean, here's a, here's a even- telling point. Like this Sandisk, what's supposed to be a Sandisk Extreme Micro SD card, uh-huh. Sandisk isn't there. It just says Extreme. Correct. Right? Correct. So these are all yep. like, uh, oh, and Amazon does nothing to stop this. No doubt. No, nothing. But I mean, the, even some of some of them came in really nice looking. You know, like like they they were trying to copy Apple's packaging, oh and I God. thought, oh well, this will be legitimate. None of uh, so these are all one nope. terabytes, and none of them actually were one terabyte. They're not a single one. Uh, in the <gasps> lower right, you see a two terabyte. The, uh, over in the lower left is a two fifty six gig. Not a single one of them was what they claimed. How big they were, were they? All mostly thirty two or sixty four gig. Oh, you know what? They're and probably so all little micro SD cards in there. So right? well, like exactly. So it, it it it's enough. It's enough to take a fat file system format. They all look legitimate. One, the the, the, the fancy one even had uh, it, it actually had a, a, um, a lightning connector on one end and a USB on the other. And on the drive was stored a PDF showing like how to use it. And I, I mean, it looked fantastic. And it only had one quarter of the storage that you thought you were getting. And, and the others are far less. So anyway, um, wanted to let everybody know that it exists we have had some some uh, like I, I think i've seen two instances where windows defender said uh you know like said that it, it was a virus and it, and it, it quarantined it but you know fourteen thousand downloads and it's not affecting most people so as i said this is unfortunately we're in a land where it's going to take a while for the for the software to age enough so that it, you know, basically, it the it, its hash, its digital signature acquires a reputation, and it's the reputation that protects software from these false positives now, and nothing else. Oh, the other really interesting thing I found that I think some of our listeners will find interesting is that that some drives test pretty quickly under Valid Drive, other ones test. E, like even legitimate drives very slowly and uh, valid drive shows you if, it, if it's waiting to read or wait, waiting to write that is wait, waiting for a re, for a read to to um, to return or a write request to return um, and, and after after you've um, processed a drive it gives you a, a report with a lot, a lot of <clears throat> excuse me statistics about the, the 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 read and write speed, the the average, the 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 median speed, the standard deviation, and also something known as the, the coefficient of variance, which is the standard deviation over the mean. So you actually get a sense for how how much spread there is in the reading times and the writing times. But what's really interesting is that many of these drives are surprisingly slow well okay the reason is and i've mentioned this uh, about the technology of nand flash storage is in order to write in, to erase or to write data into nand memory you're having to push through an, a layer of insulation in order to inject or remove electrons that requires a degeneration of a high a higher voltage than normal typically around 20 volts is required but USB devices only have access to 5 volts 
So there is something known as a voltage pump or a charge pump inside all NAND devices. You ha it has to be turned on, and then it has to basically pump up the 5 volts to 20 volts through a, through a switched capacitor system in order, to, in order to be able to start writing. That takes time. And so what, what Validrive is showing people is the amount of time it takes before that drive is able to do any writing. SSDs typically scream along because they've, they've got much more sophisticated electronics in them. But even some low-end, modest thumb drives will also run very quickly because they've just been engineered well. But, but there are definitely some thumb drives that just crawl along with Validrive because, because what, so, so the reason this isn't normally a problem is that operating systems tend to write, you know, whole multi megabyte files or multiple files at a time. If, 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 if you're like copying a, a, a directory or a whole bunch of photos over to a, a, a thumb drive, it, it, it's all being written at once. So that charge pumping to get ready to write only has to happen once. And then that time is amortized out over all of the writing that, that you're doing. But Validrive is like the worst case. It only reads and writes little 4K pieces of it at, at, at a time. And it's switching back and forth between reading and writing and reading and writing. In order to read, you have to dump that high voltage. So it gets dumped, then the reading happens. Now Validrive wants to write that same spot. So you have to wait again for the, for the NAND to, to uh, basically charge itself back up in order to be able to write. So anyway, we're as always since it seems to happen, when I get into these things, as well as as happened when I started working on on Spinrite six and and the read speed utility came out, and we found out that 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 uh, many SSDs were slower at at the front of them because they were having more trouble reading data that hadn't been written for a long time because that's where the operating system was. We always end up finding some interesting new stuff. So now I'm gonna go. I have a drawer full of these suckers. Yeah, and it's I, interesting. I'm going to download Validrive and go through all of them. And, of course, it's 95K written in Assembler. Yeah, and of course. Uh, you yeah. don't have to install it and, and blah, blah, blah. Wow. So, wow. Anyway, uh, neat new new utility. And, you know, the the people over in the news group were saying to me when I, when I said, what do you think about this? And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, you got you got to do this. It's going to be very popular. I I think they're probably right. 14,000 is, is a be... good number. And that's just probably, you know, people who are in the news groups or are listening to this show. I'm sure that if the I... general public finds it, we got to put it up on Reddit or somewhere. It'll be on Well, uh, I, 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 I did tweet the news on Friday. and so... Nobody's on Twitter. Come on. <laughs> it's a bunch of nut jobs. <laughs> Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. Invest in your current workforce and fortify your business's future. Your whole team will love to be entertained while they train. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan after completing their form. Based on your team's size, you'll receive a properly quoted discount tailored to your needs. 